You want to make epic car transitions in CapCut on your laptop or PC? Let's go! With our clips aligned in CapCut, we go to the first frame of the second clip. We're gonna tap Freeze. Then we are going to shorten this freeze to about 6 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Align the ending of the freezed frame with the beginning of the second clip onto the second layer. If auto snapping mode is turned on, the clip will snap automatically in place. Now we go to the cutout tab and make sure the customized box is checked. Click smart brush and draw a line over the subject or car that you want to cut out. Hit apply. If you don't see the result, set your timeline marker somewhere above the freeze frame that you just cut out. Now go to the last frame of this freeze frame, go to the basic tab and hit the position and size keyframe marker. It will now turn blue. Now select the first frame, hit the keyframe marker again and drag the car out of screen in the direction where you want the car to come in for your transition. So in my case, the car is coming from the left. Now do the exact same process for all your transitions. If the customized cutout is not accurate, you can reuse the eraser. You can adjust the size to erase the part that you don't want to cut out. Just like this. To separate the exhaust system, I'm using two different freezed frames and two different cutouts. Repeat the process until all your transitions have been made. The result till now will look something like this. Now we are going to add some effects to make the transitions look way smoother. Now go to the effects tab and type shadow flow into the search bar and hit enter. Now drag and drop the shadow flow effect onto all your cutouts. The effect adds motion blur to the cutout and your transitions will look way better. If you want to adjust the effect, select your clip and click the pencil icon in the effects section. You can now adjust the sliders to your own liking. To make our edit even better, we are adding a shake effect. So go back to the search bar in the effects tab and type shake. Choose this specific one called shake with a woman as there are two shake options. Drag this effect into your timeline so that it starts where another clip starts as well. Now shorten the length of the effect to about 6 to 8 frames. Make it very short. You can adjust the strength and the speed of the effects. Now the shake effect will add some drama and motion to the transitions. Copy paste this effect as many times as you want. Align them with the according clips to your transitions. Now your edit will look like this. But wait, there is something missing. Sound design. This is probably the most important part that will distinguish you from other creators. We go to the audio tab and under the extracted audio I have already imported some audio files. I will put a free download link in the description box below with these files. You can easily import these by clicking import and selecting the files. You can find many more sound effects on Google or websites such as Artlist. You type in what you are looking for, you browse and you download whatever you like. First I am adding a dramatic song combined with some engine sounds fused in one audio track. I am decreasing the volume a little bit. Next, I'm dragging in some sound effects into my timeline. I'm going to choose this part for my first transition, so I shorten it. Reposition the sound effect so the iceberg tip of the sound effect will match your transition. For sound effects, it's important that they are subtle and not too loud. So decrease the volume until you think it's fine. Repeat the same process with desired sound effects for all your other transitions. You want to learn how I film and edit my car videos, start to finish? Then you will love this video.